Holy crap, can you believe it? Home prices went up here in Savannah. All right, let's dive into these numbers for the month of February 2023 for here in Savannah, Georgia, for our real estate market. Now, these numbers cover not only Savannah, but Chatham County, Bryan County, Effingham County, Liberty County. It's basically our entire MLS. But the first thing we're going to talk about and the one that everybody's always wondering about is where did home prices go? And they actually went up in February with all the craziness in the economy and interest rates and everything else you're hearing about and bank failures and all these things. Home prices in Savannah actually went up from $294,500. They went up to $313,000. What is that? Roughly an $18,000, $19,000 increase in value. Then the next thing we're going to talk about is pending sales. Pending sales have gone down uh, from $782 to $752. Now that is due mainly to the lack of inventory. Okay, And you're going to see that in one second. All right, number three is new listings, and this is where the inventory comes into play a little bit. The listings are, they've gone up. They went from 839 up to 861. So they've gone up about 30, what, what are the 20, 22, 20, 20, 22 listings? But it's still extremely low, as you can see from the historic graph there. Okay, now the next thing we're going to talk about is homes for sale. This is the total number of homes for sale on the market here in Savannah, Georgia. And this is why we haven't sold that many houses because we don't have that much inventory. Here it is. It went from 2178 to 2169. Extremely flat and very flat for this time of the year. Again, from the graph, you can see historically we are down from highs of four, three, four, and 5,000 homes for sale in the Savannah, Georgia area. All right, next one we got is month supply. Uh, of inventory or uh, month supply of homes for sale, which is 2.3. It was, I'm sorry, it was 2.3. Now it's 2.4 uh, for the month of February. Now this is important because this indicates that if we did not have any more homes come on the market, that we would have 2.4 months supply of homes for sale inventory. Okay, inventory on the shelves to sell. This is extremely low. Historically, they say over six is a buyer's market and under six is a seller's market. So you can still say, see that uh, according to this, that we are still, uh, I guess you could say that we are still in a seller's market. All right, next thing, closed sales. Here again, you can see closed sales are down tremendously. We went from 611 in January to 687 in February. Next one we got here, next slide you're going to see here on the screen is median days on market. Days on market is still low, went from 43 to 44, historically still very low. Um, look back on the chart, you can see that it's been high as of 80, 90 days, uh, uh, days on market. So the next one is showing per listing. Now this one's important because you have to remember if you're selling your house, you're not going to get a, not going to get a ton of showings and this, this indicates that for every, for every listing, you're going to get between four and f between four and five showings. So when you get a when you get a showing, you're going to make sure that the house is ready and it's ready to roll for those new buyers to come walking through the door. All right. Next one we got here is median showings per pending. Uh, people actually walking through the house to see it. So it's gone from eight to nine. Again, when you've got a hot property and you want to make sure you sell it. Please make sure that your, your, your house is ready to roll and for people to walk through it and you put your best foot forward. That's going to help you sell it. All right. I'm the second last one. But this one is showing you, uh, this is the percentage of uh, sales price based on the original list price. So it's still pretty strong. On average, everybody's getting about 100% of what they're asking for their house. Um, then the, the, I think this is the last one. This is the median sales price per square foot. This is the one that people throw around a lot, but to me it's the silliest uh, statistic there is because it's, 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 the, it's a lagging indicator and you've never gone to your, your husband or your wife or your partner and said, hey, listen, let's go out and spend $140 a square, a square foot on a house. Okay, that's not the way it works. But this, this helps you compare apples to apples or uh, based on neighborhoods, all right? So... That's it. That's a wrap. So those are the those are the numbers for the market statistics here in Savannah, Georgia. If you have any questions, please contact me, DM me, text me. My phone number is 912-844-9000. But as always, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks again.